Yo, what's up, guys? Ricky, Worst Friends Play. Here we go. I lost a lot of footage playing Mortal Kombat with the guys. So I decided that to show everybody how shitty I am at fighting games, I would just do kind of like a tower and just get my ass beat on what I think is the equivalent of medium. Uh, because Smash Brothers is about the most skilled I've been at any fighting game. And I'm sure if you guys have seen our Smash Brothers videos, we're not even that good. So I'm going to play with Cassie Cage. Uh, she's basically the new Liu Kang, just badass for no reason. World revolves around her kind of shit. And she seems to be the only character that I'm any somewhat, like, decent with. So, fuck, I don't even know the difference. between. Okay, fuck it. That's, that one showed guns, so we're going to go cheap and play medium. Young Miss Cage. You're a lot bolder than I imagined. Are you as fragile as you appear? Round one, fight! I love that like every character combination has a unique interaction. Uh, just take me a second here because I'm playing with a fucking controller. Uh, I do, even though I'm not that good, I prefer joystick, you know, our regular arcade stick type things for fighting games. And people that see me play with the controller can tell that because I play with my hands over the controller using my forefinger and middle finger to tap on my attack buttons which is not the correct way but it's what works for me i guess in certain situations so but hell yeah i'm gonna button mash so don't hate Round two. oh he's jelly Five. bitch <laughs> So something I love about Mortal Kombat specifically is the fact that it's mixed like this whole like Asian martial arts with medieval fantasy sorcerers and fucking special ops Call of Duty wannabes into this single game that just for whatever reason makes sense to the fan base. No one really questions it. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Okay, see? So this is why I suck at fighting games because I have no button control. I have no muscle memory. It's basically button mashing, and there's sort of a method to the chaos, but for the most part, it's all fucked. So forward, back, forward, X. Let's see if I can remember that for the next match. Probably won't. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to pause it again and see. But we're gonna go against this motherfucker. Now, I'm real curious as to how he has like this default skin that is regular, but throughout the entire story mode, he is never regular. He's always like his Shadow Liu Kang form or whatever the hell you want to call it. So Sonya, is that I think you? it's, I don't know. I think it's more for the fans that they just had to do it because people would rage about how like there was only a zombie Liu Kang back in the other Mortal Kombat. I think it was Armageddon or some crap. So, oh, God damn it. I shot at his foot. It did nothing. God damn. This is only round two of a fucking medium tower, and I'm already feeling like I'm getting lucky. Oh, god damn it. Now he's pulling out tech. He's gonna whoop my ass because he's pulling out tech. Yeah, I can throw shit too, bitch. See if I can bring it back. See if I can bring it back. Now this mechanic has a huge positive and a huge negative. Uh, the huge positive being that if you're getting your ass kicked in the first round, there's a pretty good chance. Damn it. Forward, down, forward, X. There we go. See, so there's a pretty good chance that because you got your ass kicked in the first round that you're going to get an X-ray attack in the second round, which is going to give you like a 33% damage advantage. So it makes it to where almost every fight ends up being... Cassie, like at least three rounds long and you don't feel like you just got your ass beat and then when you do get your ass beat and lose two rounds straight it's damn well because you deserve to get your ass beat two rounds straight so uh the bad thing about it is <laughs> just the visually you're doing shit that just murders your opponent and things that should kill him like you i've seen you shooting things through their head and stabbing them like sub-zero i think stabs a giant iceberg like stalactite or some shit through the person's skull and then they just get up and rub it off like i guess aesthetically you just want to see gore and you don't really care about the end result until the fatality and then that's when you want to see someone finally die 
But then you play Mortal Kombat story mode and it's almost like nobody dies. They're not allowed to kill anybody in the story mode. Because then they'd have to like take that as actual lore for the next game, I guess. So they're super picky about that. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Oh, fucking Catwoman, little motherfucker. Oh, God. God, I wish I could do something more impressive. Than just like normal attacks. He's like a mix of Catwoman and the Flash. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Now, Reptile used to be a favorite of mine back when he looked like a normal ninja. I don't know if, I don't think he was supposed to be Lin Kuei ever or anything like that, but when he just looked like Scorpion and Sub Zero, like I liked the whole just different ninjas, different colors from different clans and whatnot. And then they had, like, oh fuck, I'm gonna fuck up. So I guess they just had to give more variety as time passed because it's like they can't blame graphic limitations for the sprites anymore. I liked it better when they just stuck to, I mean, it's fucked up to say, but just the stereotypes, you know, like this guy, I really like that he uses a bow and arrow type weapon, uh, but I hate his design. I think he looks really weird and lame and out of place. Uh, the fact that he's part of like the special ops hey, team and he's the only one that still looks like he's from like ancient China or something. It just, I don't know. I think it was kind of like, trying too hard to make a new Liu Kang or something. But even Liu Kang just wore a headband in regular pants. He didn't have to like wear a, like old warrior garment. Gun beats bow. You need an attitude adjustment. Round two. Fight. I can't I can't remember what round I'm on. Fuck you bitch. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Oh, he's making the comeback. It's so sick. No matter how many times I see it. I think what's even more impressive is... It's really... I think it's hard to tell, and I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure, like, the blood has its own physics that obeys differently every time. It's not like a pre-rendered type action. Because the blood that sprays on her when she does that to her opponent doesn't look exactly the same. It always looks like it just... Like, I guess the height of the character that she did it to makes a difference, maybe. Or maybe each character has their own, like, physics when it comes to their blood. Just like some of them have a lot of their own skeletons. So that when you x-ray them, it actually makes sure that, like, Melina looks like Melina's skeleton should look and shit. But I still think it's pretty damn impressive. But I guess that's just the whole game developer standpoint that I have. Um... Let's get a little personal. Uh, a lot of people don't might not know that uh, I am a game development student. Uh, we all are. Everyone in the party, the whole Worst Friends play group. Um, well, everyone except, I think, Adrian and Charlie. Um, maybe Brandon, but they go to the same school as us. Adrian recently graduated. Julio recently graduated. We're all getting really close to our graduations. Um, and the YouTube thing is pretty much just a hobby for us at this point. But... Uh, you know, we do what we have to do because, you know, most of our studying is just playing new video games and trying to simulate or emulate what the new, like, gen is doing and how games are evolving and stuff. So that's why when I play these games, especially by myself, and I do a video, it might be not as funny as usual because I'm sitting here analyzing this shit to pieces, which tends to bore the shit out of, like, Keith and Armando and crap when I do that when we're actually playing the game and they think I'm just raging or something and it's like... I can't help that I just analyze the style of like, how the programming works or how the bots are working or the artificial intelligence is like capacity for human involvement. Especially in fighting games, it's the worst because the AI in a fighting game, like the whole thing that it's built around is that it has to let you win because they could, like the AI of a fighting game, it could just counter everything you do. There's nothing, like if it wanted to, it could be unstoppable because it has to read all of your button inputs in order to relay the actions to your character. So the computer gets to see it before you get to see it, even if it's in that split, you know, millisecond of time. So I think it's real interesting of how they have to program AI for fighting games to allow you to win to certain capacities. Um, but when I say that to the guys, you know, they're just like, oh, you just suck at fighting games and you're making excuses. And it's true. I fucking suck at fighting games and I make a lot of excuses. 
but I think that's a legitimate excuse. And I'm going to get a bachelor's degree for me to have excuses in video games and why they kick my ass. So worth it. You ran over your head. Thanks for the tip. All right. Let's go Don't dirty Harry. Now I know this guy's from a comic book. Uh, I am not familiar with said comic book, even though I know a lot about many comic books. I'm pretty sure he's from a Dark Horse comic though, because he doesn't look familiar to me. Um, and I just I tend to not get as much exposure to the indie stuff anymore. Ever since my daughter was born, and I had to sell my comic collection. So, but I think he still plays an interesting character, and he really matches with the whole Mortal Kombat thing. Like he doesn't stand out. He's not like. You know, even though characters like the Predator or Jason Voorhees, they'll fit in the universe because they're gory, they kill people, they have no problem murdering people, you know, all that stuff. So it's like, it's not going to be like this weird inconsistent thing like when they tried to put Batman in a fucking Mortal Kombat game and it was like, Batman's not supposed to kill people, but I'm so proud that I memorized one fatality. Because I wasted, like, day, as soon as we got this game, we played like three rounds and wasted all of our fatality tokens immediately. <laughs> and I'm not really sure how you're supposed to earn them, except for maybe going into the crypt. Which I've done a little bit of, but it takes a shitload of gold to go through that place. And I'm just really not the farming type anymore. I gave that up with World of Warcraft. And I'm surprised I haven't lost anything yet. I guess I'm doing decent. I guess I could say I'm a medium level player. But I'm sure as soon as we get to that higher stuff and they start getting towards the hard... Because they're trying to, like, evolve you as a player. Just start getting stomped. It'll look ridiculous. Oh, god damn it, Raiden, you cheap-ass motherfucker. It's all the sparklies everywhere. Fuck you, fuck you. Bullets, bullets, stance, stance. Oh, you fucker. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Shot him in the foot. That's how you went around. Oh, you bitch. He broke through it. Oh, God. Oh, see, now now he's about to just whoop ass on me. That looked pretty cool. I don't know how I did it. God damn it. This asshole. I really hope, like, a pro player just gets on the video and comments on like exactly what's making it obvious that I'm fucking noob at this shit. Uh, other than the fact that I keep stance dancing, which is probably me pressing the A and B button too close together. So it assumes that I'm pressing left trigger, which I guess is the, the, the hot key for A and B at the same time, even though they just call it stance change, which I don't understand the point of the stance change in this game. I haven't figured it out yet. I've tried a few theories. Every move is the same. The only difference is whether your character's torso is, like, facing the camera or not. So, I don't understand it. I'm sure there's some pro explanation out there, and I'd love to hear about it. Like, if you guys know, just put it in the damn comments so I can figure it out, because I've tried Googling it, too, and I haven't found anything that specifically says, like, you should use this in this situation or anything like that. It just says it just changes your stance, changes your character's footing or whatever you want to call it. Oh, God damn it. Why does that always... That's always the first thing that happens on this stage. He's playing through the story mode, and Raiden will immediately just murder his own monk to fuck people up, and it's ridiculous. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I keep going for the nut punches. My tactics. White girl tactics. Oh, God. It's a good thing I'm a button masher, because I would have hit that shit if I wasn't. Now, I've noticed that um, not very many of the medium computer AI so far have tried to use their x-rays on me. And I'm wondering if that's because they're noob or if that's because they're smart, <laughs> smarter than me, and they don't just spam that shit. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of things I'd like to know. I, just, I would love to just sit down with the programmers and just have them explain to me the method to how a fighting game AI should work. Because I might be making one pretty soon. Even though I tend to specialize more in RPGs and card games and board games and things like that.
Cassie wins. Fatality. Oh shit, we're getting up there. I think Shinnok's like the boss of this game, right? Isn't he like the new Shao Kahn? Uh, I remember Goro being cheap as shit. So we'll see what happens because back in like Mortal Kombat 1, I just remember him doing that teleport jump kick thing over and over again. I'm here to stop you. And the only thing I could do was use Scorpion and like teleport punch to kill him. Oh god. Oh god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> that che <laughs> You cheap bastard. Let's go. Okay, fuck it. Oh my god. You just take all the advantages, aren't you? Let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, nuts. Dragon nut. Punch, go. Oh my god. Oh, the bullet does nothing. <laughs> see if I can pull this out of my ass. I know this does 33%. I think it would have been funny if they gave him, like, for no reason, just gave him, like, a third testicle as, like, an Easter egg or something. Be like, yeah, he's half dragon, so he's got weird genitalia. I don't know. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch. Ah, oh, fuck you, you Donkey Kong wannabe motherfucker. Let's go. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God, that breaking shit. I kind of think that a gun would have more stun than that, but I guess not in the Mortal Kombat universe. Oh, fuck. That was the most badass throw I've ever seen. Nothing fancy. Oh, fuck. Whoa. I didn't know that that could land away from the opponent. I always thought it teleported to the opponent. God, I'm getting my ass whooped. I'm just going to hide up here. No, fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Ah, oh, you bitch. Oh, uh, I thought the computer would use fatalities. At least so you could see, like, when you get your ass kicked, you at least get some kind of reward. Maybe on the higher difficulties. Well, there. I think I did pretty good, considering that I went all the way to Goro before I got my ass fucking handed to me. But then I really got my ass handed to me. And he didn't even have to use an x-ray, so now I'm ashamed. I'm here to stop you. Oh, God damn it. I kind of wish I could do something with that snake thing back there. You see it? It does nothing. It just has a vagina on its fucking neck. And it just for looks. It doesn't do anything. Oh. God, every time I see it. Nice. Making a comeback. You know why? Because I used the guard button. Get away from me, asshole. No. No. God damn it. Oh, suck it. Uh, I don't know how to block that. I don't know if it's blockable. God damn it. What happened? Where's my grab button? Oh, God. God, now he's just going to fucking lay into me. It's okay, because it's going to give me some meter, and then next I can use an x-ray and cheat my way to a win again. Oh, shit! I can't believe I pulled that off. Ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky as shit. God, Shinnok is... Oh, God. Goro gave me a hard time. Shinnok is going to fucking wipe the floor with me. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to just be a regular Shinnok. I'm pretty sure he's going to do some psycho transforming shit. Because I have finished the story mode. I know what he can be. A cheap bastard with a fucking huge beam that goes across the entire screen. Do you fear death? Can't say that I do. I kind of like that they you turned him into like myself. fucking Dracula. Because his original design was lame as shit and I thought he was like some retarded clown or something. I didn't even realize he was supposed to be like a boss. I thought he was supposed to be a jester or like a joke character or something. It was weird. Oh god. I just, wow. 
Okay, so he's probably going to be easy as shit like this, and then it's going to be like, no, fuck you, god mode. No way that, I was about to say, there's no way that's the end. Because that was simple as shit, compared to Goro, at least. So I'm going to die here. And I'm going to be really pissed if it's like you die, and then you have to beat Shinnok regular again, just to fight his demon form again. But I wouldn't be surprised. Because games are all about getting harder these days. Oh god, oh god, I got it. Okay, fuck it. Now, if I remember correctly, I gotta stay close to him, because if I go far screen, he's just gonna cheap out and use that be laser beam fucking Kamehameha shit on me. Oh god. See that shit? Look at that broken shit. And he can just do it infinitely over and over again. Oh my god. I was, I was, I was like, he's gonna fucking do that shit again? Three times in a row, like, it gets to a point where the computers have no shame. Ah, demon nuts. Oh, that's a sick-ass skeleton, though. Look like something off a of fucking death metal album art. Oh, god damn it. Oh! Oh, I only have to beat him once? Sick. Ah, uh, demon spooge. Oh god. Well, at least when he dies, everybody notices. Cassie Cage's impressive victory over Shinnok led Raiden to give her a new important task. Hunting down a soul stealer. I'm Cassie assuming that guy right behind her. <laughs> Suspect could be a resurrected Shang Tsung. Having tracked him from the site of his last known assault, Cassie confronted the withered old man. He fought desperately but was ultimately defeated. As the old man lay dying before her, Cassie asked his name. With a mixture of sadness and relief, he whispered, Shujinko. Shujinko? Wasn't he, like, super important in the old Mortal Kombat lore? Before they did the whole revamp? I thought he was, like, a good guy originally or something. I guess that's the twist to her story. So no matter how much you save the world, you're still gonna just beat an old man's ass. And But all in all, I, I think I did decent. Um, might do one of these again, probably with a new character on a harder difficulty, just to torture myself. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to see you next time. What's up, YouTubers? Ricky from Worst Friends Play here. Just wanted to say thanks for watching our video. Hopefully you got some good laughs out of it, because we sure did. And if you want to support us, simply click that subscribe button to keep up with all our shenanigans. You can also check out Facebook.com slash Worst Friends Play if you wanted to be notified when we post new content. The more you guys watch, the more we'll put out. Videos, I mean. Shit!